Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to explore fashion through the 60s from the fun to the sophisticated looks. It is such an interesting decade, and I'm so inspired by the designs at the time, so I tried to put myself into the mind of like a 60s time traveler and style themes from the early, mid, and late 60s with today's trends so that we can all have a little piece of the 60s in our everyday outfits. So we are starting off our journey in the early 60s, which I have affectionately named Growing Pains, trademark pending. Furs had an absolute vice grip on 50s fashion and it lingered into early 60s fashion, which is why we are starting with it. Mink, seal fur, and suede shirling were particularly popular and they were often worn with dresses and kitten heels like the ones that I'm wearing now. Twiggy, a 60s style icon, wore these quite a bit with drop waist dresses as a rejection of hyperfeminism. Now, was this section just an excuse to show you guys the Hudson's Bay fur coat my mom found for me at Salvation Army? We may never know. I'm just kidding, it was a legitimate trend. Now let's style this coat for today. For 2023, since they were already starting to wear drop waist dresses and dressing more casually, I thought we would go even more casual with these leather trousers. I couldn't quite go full casual with jeans because this fur coat deserves more. I also added this white collared top to go further into menswear and these little black booties and I think it's a nice casual outfit. I also wanted to dress it up a little bit more and try it with a trendy low waist skirt. Drain pipe, cigarette pants, whatever you want to call them, were a huge trend in the early 60s. They wore them with ballet flats and in a beatnik style with this turtleneck, and it was often worn by Audrey Hepburn. Today, I think our time traveler would embrace a moto cowboy aesthetic, trademark pending again. I just think skinny jeans like these striped ones and these other jeans I have really need to be balanced with something bulkier at the bottom like these boots and the leather jacket and sunglasses edge it up a little bit. I'm also wearing this frilly cardigan backwards to allow her to keep the black top and I think it adds another interesting layer to this outfit. We are moving forward in time to mid-60s fashion and the space age. It is inspired by the space race and the Cold War where we saw a lot of PVC bodysuits, go-go boots, and patent leather. There was an emphasis on function and they felt that you should be able to move in these designs. Andre Correge's SS64 collection was huge for this with trousers, goggles, box dresses, and he developed his space age fashion for the next decade. Paco Rabanne was also a huge influence with chainmail dresses, aluminum, and plastic being primary materials for designs. I am adding some elements for today, but before we fully get into that, I have to change the set a little bit because the mid 60s use a lot more primary colors. They use lots of blues, reds, and yellows. So I think it's a very Hudson's Bay thing. I think our time traveler would keep this top because it's boxy and bold, which was partially popularized by Pierre Cardin. Another element of the space age was to highlight the neck with wide, tall mock necks, similar to this one here. And I also put low mid-rise jeans on to make it more casual, and I like that there's no defined waist. I added kitten heels that along with go-go boots were also very popular at the time, and I left on this silver jewelry because it reminds me of rockets and space junk. The red bag adds a little more color, which these two outfits have desperately needed. I just don't own a lot of colorful items. And the final accessory I added were these big bug-eyed sunglasses because I thought they looked very alien-like, which is also very space age. And I think this is a really nice modern take on space age, but I really want to explore this era of fashion more. The mini skirt, also called mini coopers, were popularized by Mary Quant and Andre Correge. I read they were generally six to seven inches above the knee and I don't have anything that length. And as a modern woman, I am disappointed in myself. They specifically came over from London calling it the Chelsea girl look. I paired mine with a colorful turtleneck, a patterned silk scarf that I thrifted recently and a beret, which were favorite accessories in the sixties. 
In modern times, I think she, our time traveler, would want to follow some recent trends like tube tops, or rather tube dresses, especially because they're a little more scandalous like the miniskirt was when it came out. I also think this makeshift bolero I have makes a nice color sandwich. You can find a black bolero anywhere. I just used what I have. To finish it off, I added the red bag because again, we needed to add some color to it. And did you know that go-go boots were originally white, low-heeled, and mid-calf? I personally I personally went with a later iteration of the go-go boot because it was really all I had. You knew it was coming. Shift dresses were the epitome of 60s fashion. They were popularized by Mary Quant again, and it was a way to reject the hourglass shape that was really popular in the 50s and instead focus on the legs and not really have an accentuation of the waist. I'm wearing mine with a silk scarf around my head that I thrifted and I think it is so cute. So I know I said the whole point was to not have a defined waist, but I had to add something to the dress and I've noticed wide belts everywhere lately. I also ended up switching out these shoes for boots because I liked the tones better. Since short shift dresses and skirts were more popular, colorful and pattern tights were also big and I tried to add a similar interest with these knee high socks, although they're not as cool. I thought I was done, but I added this swing coat and it put this outfit in a whole new league. It's a thrifted tabby organza one, and this dress is a vintage Juicy Couture dress that I left behind a couple videos ago, but I ran into it again recently and it was fate. And finally, I added these mini glasses that make it seem really 90s, and I feel like a cross between Men in Black and Austin Powers. Next up, we have crochet, which is part of the hippie movement of the late 60s. And since we are moving to the late 60s, it's only right we change up the blanket again to this colorful crochet afghan. For the 60s look, I was trying to add as much crochet as I had to make this more interesting. These bell sleeves are perfect, as is this green vest and this wide brimmed hat. But we're really getting into the hippie movement now, which was all about peace and love, anti-establishment and anti-war. The hemlines were longer and colors were everywhere. Crochet is very relaxed, so for these days, I thought I would edge it up a little bit with this Hugo Boss jacket, which meant I could also define my waist a little. I also added the alien-like sunglasses again, but it was okay, so I decided to try it with this trench coat. I thrifted this vintage one years ago, and as I'm looking at it, it actually looks like a long swing coat. I left the boots on and added a long green necklace, and the look feels very 70s. This was a much simpler styling, but sometimes you really just don't need to add anything to a dress like this. Ironically, we were back to longer skirts and psychedelic prints soon after the mid-60s. Fashion was now heavily influenced by rock and roll bands like the Grateful Dead, and you saw a lot of hippie-like clothing at Woodstock in 1969. It was all about bright colors, wavy lines, and oversized flowers. For 2023, even though our time traveler is probably missing home by now, I think she would get into the coastal cowboy aesthetic that has been more popular lately. To make it coastal cowboy, I added this wide brimmed hat and this white linen top. Since I pulled down the skirt to make it low-waisted and more current, I like that the top has an empire waist for balance. I also got experimental and tried wearing the skirt as a tube dress, and I kind of love it. It's fun to flounce around in, and it feels both bohemian and current. So that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know what your favorite look was down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.